Okay, question number two from June 2014, the R paper, the um, replacement paper, the legacy paper, not the IAL, um, GCE paper. Um, we're told about discrete random variable. Okay, discrete random variable X has a probability distribution. P X equals X is 1 over 10 for X equals 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 10. So basically what that means is, you know, if you were going to draw a table, you don't really need to do this, but just to, to, to show you if, you, if you were to draw a table for this, okay, let's make some space down here and do it. If you were to draw a table for this, then it would look something like, the following. What's happened there? Must be too. Uh, anyway, I'll make one manually. Okay, it'll look something like this. You'll have x and the probability that x equals x. You'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, and 10. And each of these probabilities will be the same, 1 tenth. That would be 1 tenth, and 1 tenth, and so on. Okay, that's what, this will, that's what this means. Okay, that means when x is all the way from 1 to 10, the probability is 1 tenth for all of those. Okay, of course, the probabilities have to add up to 1, and these do. That's all it means. And this is basically called a uniform discrete distribution. Okay? Uniform discrete distribution. Let me just write that neatly. Uniform discrete distribution. Okay, that's what it is, uniform. The important word here is uniform, it's the same. Every one of them is, has the same probability. So if it says write down the value that Px equals 10, well, that's one tenth. And the probability that x is less than 10, well, it's everything apart from 10, so it's going to be nine tenths. Simple as that. There's like three simple, easy marks there. Okay, you don't even need to draw the table once you understand what that means. Okay, for part C, slightly different, it says a continuous random variable has a normal distribution. Now, when it has normal distribution, it's going to take this bell shape. Take this bell shape. So you're going to have your, oops, let's get a straight line. It's going to, that's your mean, median, and mode. It has a uniform, it has a, um, sorry, a normal distribution. It means it takes this type of bell shape. The curve looks something like this. So it's supposed to be symmetrical. All right. So that's supposed to be at the highest point of it. It's supposed to be symmetrical. And it says that the mean is 10. So that's right in the middle. And the standard deviation is 2. Okay. So when it says write down the value that uh, of the probability that y is equal to 10. Now, we find the probabilities from a, a continuous distribution where it's normal, okay, where it's, a, where it's normal distribution. We find it by finding the area of the particular section we want. So, I mean, for, for, for part two, if we do that first, that's easier. We want to find the probability that y is less than 10, which is basically going to be half of it, isn't it? It's going to be 50%. Half of it is less than 10 and half of it is more than 10 because 10 is the mean, and the mean is right in the middle in normal distribution. So that's going to be uh, half or 0 
But the problem is that y is equal to 10. Well, what is the area of this line? Okay, that goes up here. Well, the width is zero. Okay, basically. So the probability of this is going to be zero. Okay, so whenever they ask you when it's got a, a continuous a random variable, then you need to find the area of that particular bar, you can say. And the area of this bar is zero. Okay, so that's why the probability that y is equal to 10 is zero. Whereas when you've got discrete random variables, okay, the, the, you have the probability of each individual item. It's not continuous. So therefore, the probability that x equals 10 here is 1 over 10. You don't have anything before it or after this. Okay? So here we have to deal with the areas. And here we have to deal with the dis distinct values. Okay? So when it says the probability x is less than 10, you combine all the ones which are less than 10. 1 tenth plus 1 tenth plus 1 tenth, and so on. Okay? And when you're finding here the probability that less than 10 here, that y is less than 10 here, then you've got to basically find the area of this half of this curve, which is going to be a half, 0.5. Okay? Because 10 is right in the middle. It's the mean. This is the mean, this is the standard deviation. Okay, I hope that's clear.